Hey what's up guys, TechTine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it linked below and I'll follow you back, why not? So yeah, I mean, just subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend and yeah, that's how channels grow. So and I really do appreciate it, uh, coming from the heart really, I really appreciate anybody who's subscribed to the channel and anybody who's thinking about subscribing. But yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A10's camera. And we're going to be doing a camera review. The back of the phone has an 8 megapixel sensor with an LED flash. And on the front of the device, you have a 5 megapixel camera. And here's a couple of ways where you can get to the camera app. So one, you can just tap the camera app and just launch it like you normally do. You can also double tap the power button and it will quickly launch the camera app. Remember how Samsung used to have the double tap home button? but now it's adapted the Android system where you double tap the power button and it will get you to the camera app. So whichever way works for you, go ahead and do it. Okay, so in the camera app you have, you can either make it this full screen while it takes up the whole, uh, where it takes advantage of this 18 by nine near bezel-less display, or you can make it the, let's see, the 16 by nine or the four by three. So however you want to do it, again, it's just up to you, preference at this point. I just like it to be on this full screen. Um, I think it's nicer. So on the bottom, you have a couple options. You have your shutter tag, your, um, where you see your pictures, your gallery, basically. You also have your video, photo, pro, and panorama mode. On the top, you have your settings, uh, which we'll take a look at right now. So you can shoot up video up to 1080p. Front camera also can shoot up to 1080p. You have HDR. You have, you have pretty much a lot of options. Okay. So you have your flash, timer, and like I showed you guys earlier, to change the aspect ratio of the display, and an enhancement button. And also here, interestingly enough, you have a regular standard view, and you have kind of a zoom. Uh, it's, it doesn't really have any secondary camera to use the zoom lens, but it does it digitally. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the pictures and do the actual camera review. So I'm gonna start with this picture right here. So this is just a can of Minute Maid, nothing too crazy. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like Minute Maid, leave a thumbs up if you hate it too. Okay, so right off the bat, I just wanted to test out the colors and here's what I do have to say about it. So in some pictures, it does a pretty good job in colors, in others, it just washed them out. So you and your luck, basically. So in this picture particularly, the red are kind of washed out. Usually Samsung likes their, saturation, their saturated colors, but hey, it's just washed out in this picture. It is what it is. So my hand is washed out also, but overall an okay picture for the price that you're paying for this phone. So remember, this phone is a budget phone. It is a $120 phone. So you get what you pay for in terms of the camera, but it's definitely usable. And the second picture is I used this digital, I used their digital, uh, I used their digital two times zoom. And as you guys can see, it actually sharpens the pictures, uh, it actually sharpens the picture quite a bit. And there's, there's some loss of detail, but decent overall, uh, overall. So again, take this with a grain of salt because this is a budget phone. So I'm reviewing it as a budget camera. I'm kind of reviewing it, I'm reviewing it as if it's in a vacuum so that I'm not comparing it to any flagships or anything like that. So the colors in this picture are definitely better than the ones in the previous picture. I guess because I'm outside and the sun is shining bright. So, Hey, like I said, you and your luck. And I also tested out the zoom again, kind of sharpens the image, uh, quite a bit but overall a pretty good picture. So this next picture is a test of dynamic range and I was actually kind of surprised. The dynamic range on here is decent. The color of the sky is clear and there are shadows in the tree. So it kind of impressed me. In this next picture, I want to test out this kind of bokeh effect. So it doesn't have any uh, portrait mode or anything crazy like that, but it does a pretty decent job of blurring out the background. So in this, in this next picture, again, I just want to do a test of color and it does kind of sharpen the picture quite a bit. So you can kind of see the details um, in the picture, but yeah, the colors are still washed out. And in this picture, I wanted to test out the, again, colors is basically the main thing that I'm trying to test out. Um, so this picture is also decent. So this is a test of um, focus and color and sharpness. Again, colors are a bit washed out. It is what it is and the it focuses pretty decent it's quick to focus quick to focus quick to take pictures however in this picture i'm trying to be nitpicking at this point but it does kind of overexpose the um kind of the pavement on the ground but hey like i said 
I'm reviewing this in a vacuum, so I'm not gonna compare it to any of the flagships or any smartphones that are in the six, seven, hundred, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollar price point. Okay, so in this picture, where I took it, just a picture of my slippers on my socks. Oh well, um, the colors are actually kind of good. They're not as washed out as previous pictures. So again, hit and miss in terms of the color accuracy on this phone. And as far as the five megapixel selfie camera, it's good. The colors are better on the selfie camera than they are on the rear facing camera as far as this picture goes. Uh, however, you do have this beauty effect which pretty much comes standard with most Android phones that are in the, uh, which pretty much is, it is what it is. You can turn it off if you like to and a pro hint, do turn it off. It makes the picture look better. Okay, so next we have the video compare, the video test of the Galaxy A10e. Hey what's up guys, Tektine here and this is the video test of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. So let me know how the microphone sounds like and yeah, um, that's it, it's just a sample test, sample video test of the Galaxy A10e. Back to the video. Uh, so as far, okay, so my final words on the camera. As far as I'm concerned, right now I'm gonna start comparing it to phones at the same price point, and here's what I have to say about it. It's definitely top three in phones uh, for $120. The colors, the only problem they, the only problem that I do have about it is that the colors do get washed out in pretty much most of the pictures. Like I said, you might get lucky one to two pictures where you get pretty good colors, but for the most part, as far as my experience goes, the colors are washed out. The video is good. Um, the, while it does not have optical image stabilization, the digital stabilization does a decent job. The two times zoom tends to just really grab that picture and sharpen it. And it's okay, I mean, for a phone without a secondary camera, it worked well. Okay, so if you guys want to see more sample shots, I will be leaving some in my Instagram page. So yeah, look over there if you want to see more sample shots. And pretty much that's it. I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up. Like I said, I will also be doing a dedicated performance test before the full review and I'll round everything up in my final review of this phone. But yeah, so far, I'm happy with it. The camera is not the best in the world, but it definitely gets the job done. And remember, for the price of this phone, hey, it's a pretty decent camera. So yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.